and become a part of the life groups. I just felt, felt as I was <clears throat> going through the week that there were so many decisions that I could make and I could make them in the flesh. I knew I could conquer them. I knew I could do them. I felt the tug of the Lord's heart on my heart saying, Bill, if you'll just, if you'll just let me speak, if you'll just let me guide you, you'll find that I'll give you provision even in the midst of the things that seem like they're closed doors. When decisions need to be made and we're not able to look past the doors that are closed, when decisions need to be made that are even life and death. God is there for us. God is able to take care of you in those moments and give you wisdom that is beyond yourself. Heavenly Father, we believe that you speak today. We believe that if our hearts will simply be tuned in to your spirit, you will give wisdom in our now. God, we know that there are major decisions of life that many people in this room are facing, and they can face decisions without regret. They don't need to be paralyzed at the moment of decision. For God, I know that it goes beyond what facts are on the table and the things that we see with our eyes. It goes to a point where we can have perfect peace knowing, God, that you are there and you will take care of us. Heavenly Father, right now I pray for those that need to revisit a moment in which they feel that they've been defeated in life. But if you can look back to a moment and you say, that was a defeat for me, I've never gotten over it. I've never been able to completely get past it. Will you put your hand on your heart right now? I want to pray for you. The Holy Spirit is here and you're going to be healed and set free. Heavenly Father, I pray for those that have their hands upon their hearts right now. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will give victory now as they revisit this moment and say, I choose to revisit now, not with all the facts that I know and all of the knowledge that I have and all the strength I can muster up, but God, I come now completely relying upon you. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you will heal the hurts of the past and break the bondages of the past. God, in the name of Jesus right now, I declare victory over this situation that I look back at. I will not be held to it. It will not identify me anymore. I declare I have the victory and can move on in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray for those that are looking at their lives right now and they see stones, they see flakes where they've been praying for loaves of bread your provision to be awesome and mighty and large. They don't understand it. They're discouraged. They're walking in circles. They need you now. They're confused. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will show yourself to be relevant and real and powerful and awesome and intimate in relationship with every single person that is here today. Father, we thank you for your provision. We know that we, we stand upon the word that says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken for their seed begging for bread. Father, you always give bread. You always give bread. Heavenly Father, now, in the now of our lives, we pray that we will know what it is to see holy purpose and destiny in this hour. In September in 2009, on this the 20th, we pray, God, that we will see destiny in our now. We pray with the friends that we have around us, with the associations that we have in the now of our lives, where we work, the ones that we get together with and off hours, Father, that are our friends. We pray that we will see the holy destiny that is here now with an invitation to jump into life groups so we can become involved in the church in, in ways in which we can become involved to have better relationships, in ways in which we can put across what you're doing to the local church in the D.C. metro area. God. God, we give ourselves to you now, wholly and completely in the now. We're not waiting for a better moment. We're not looking back to a moment in which we thought everything lined up. We believe in you in the now.